and we are in Mayburg. We are going towards the Mayburg Museum. That's where you enter, and that's where you're heading. And we are inside, so you can take a look at all these things. So you can take a quick look at these things. Yeah, but and this is Point Destiny. They have beautiful scenery over here. Is police somewhere to make you feel secured and safe. Mauritius is the safest country of Africa and I believe um, it's one of the top 16 or 15 or 20 banks in on earth as security. So if you come to Mauritius you will feel safe because this country is so beautiful and so safe. So yeah we are walking by Point Destiny and as you can see, the police is still here and there are nice houses over there but this is a public beach that you should come for sure. It's a place to go and you should see uh, how beautiful it is here. You should come to Point Destiny, Mauritius. So by Maiburg there is an airport of Mauritius. Uh, Maiburg is really close to the airport. Uh, I missed to show you the sign but it's the other side. Uh, so yeah, once we get to the airport, I'll show you um, the airport. So it's pretty awesome. Uh, the feeling is great because every time I come to the airport, I remember the time I arrived to Mauritius, to this beautiful island. So this is where you go to arrive as international. Uh, the airport is pretty decent for a small country with one million population. It's really luxurious for, for such a small um, city I've never seen anywhere in the world with this kind of a uh, small country to have such an airport uh, so yeah this is uh, where you get your ticket and yeah hello so I'm walking by the streets of Mayborg Mayborg and uh, these are just the streets you can see it feels like a village but it is not a village it's not a city either it's such a good environment uh, this is the first time in my life that I've had a feeling that somewhere is home and I'm a city boy but I do feel like a villager now living here but it's not a village people are really really high class you can get anything you want the beach the best beach of Mauritius is 15 minutes away um, well I think maybe the second best but it, it definitely is uh, something you can argue if it's the best one or not Point Destiny and Blue Bay uh, but point test is number one in my opinion in Mauritius or number two um, yeah but uh, you should if you come to Mauritius Maburg is a place to be because um, you f you get that feel of the the village but people are high-end you have markets you have waterfront you have statues of different kind you have the nice beaches and beautiful waterfront over here which I'll show you so we are by the waterfront now uh, it's all the way there. There is an island over there. I think it's a private island. Uh, my dream in the future would be to, to make a statue of myself over there. I'm kidding. It's just a dream, you know. Uh, but yeah, if you can dream it, you can probably achieve it. Uh, but I do want to make something great in my burg. Maybe uh, a very, very cheap hotel or a place that um, tourists come and get the, the value that they deserve because they travel to Mauritius is my country and they deserve to be treated like a king in my country. So Mayburg, uh, I think it's a place I would want to make that building 
uh, or whatever. I'm already started to invest in it in uh, with my funds and my money and my time. Um, so yeah, this area is really close to airport as well. So if you come, you could quickly come and sleep and enjoy uh, the nicest beach and uh, the market and the local, the feeling, the authenticity and everything. Um, Maiburg is the place to be if you come. Uh, the first place you should hit is Maiburg, I think. So yeah, this is the waterfront. Uh, you get the private island or whatever over there. And uh, this is the first place I saw my girlfriend. Uh, yeah, sometimes it gets hot. So you might want uh, an umbrella as well. I don't, I mean, I'm quite dark, but yeah, some people do use umbrella. But you know, it's nice to have that black tan. It's hot, man. Um, this is the uh, bus terminal. Uh, that goes uh, all the way to Port Louis if you want to uh, with one dollar, one US dollar or 37 rupees. Uh, so according to conversion rate of that day, it might be a hundred dollars. You don't, you never know. Mauritius might do a lot better than the US in 500 years or so. Uh, so yeah, I'm a proud Mauritian and I came back as a local to do something great for my country. Uh, and yeah, Maiburg is home. Uh, so if you come, um, from the airport, you can come live uh, by Point Destiny uh, for a couple nights, a night, even one night. The first day you can go straight to the beach. It's always sunny um, and right now it's 30 degrees. So you can stay your first day uh, at the beach and then sleep and then in the morning get the bus and go to Port Louis. And so basically you could live uh, really cheaply. You could spend almost next to nothing. But if you want to blow money, also Mauritius is a place come give me all your euros and all the other currencies um, that you have and uh, yeah this is the way to go you know uh, Mauritius is gonna be great uh, so yeah if you want to blow money if you want to save money if you want to do anything you want to start a business you want to come for vacation come to my country and this is the place to be I have no doubt that you're gonna get to the cent rupee of your euros or whatever currency you spend your money in so so yeah I'm gonna walk over there uh, it's uh, by the water uh, people come there is a statue over here which I'll take you after but yeah let's go to the waterfront and show you the view and that's the waterfront look at the crystal clear waters of Mauritius and the Indian Ocean it's so blue if you go to Point Destiny which is about 10 minutes driving from here it's even more beautiful so by the waterfront uh, you will get to to see uh, the beautiful things and uh, this is a place that I come almost every night and uh, yeah it's so chilled and laid back because uh, nobody's actually here during the night and you can walk by and just be on the corner by the edge of the ocean here Indian Ocean so yeah I recommend for you to come to this place for sure so on my way to the um, Mahburg or Mahburg uh, Market Mauritius uh, there is this beautiful statue of this Indian man. I used to think it's Buddha, but it's not Buddha. It's uh, it might be Buddha. I don't want to judge, but look at it. It's so elegant, and uh, I took my first Mauritius picture by this statue. Uh, so yeah, you should come take a look. It's such a spiritual place, uh, and if you come here, say Namaste, and all all the bad things in your life will. Just go away. Anyway, that was an advertisement for Mauritius. But seriously, come here. It's, uh, it's a beautiful place. You should. Uh, it's a spiritual as well. Uh, just like Grand Bassin, this is my second place of Mauritius that has such a good feeling. Uh, let this motorbike to pass. So yeah, it's, it's a beautiful place to hang out. Um, you don't need to spend a dime here. Um, just come by the waterfront, walk, look at the locals, see the way, the lifestyle, uh, the people. Uh, how they live um, I'll take uh, I'll take you to the market for you to see the market so going to the towards the market there is a KFC over here that's where I go to the gym it's a small gym that I pay under ten dollars in Canada I pay uh, oh my god sixty dollars um, but yeah I mean it's a much better gym but you know what here it's a rat gym where you get shit done uh, yeah so you can walk by the side of the street buy all these 
beautiful um, uh, fruits. So this is the way to the market. I think ooh, it is kind of closed. Let's see, maybe I'm entering the wrong way. But yeah, Mauritius uh, has uh, 1.3 million um, population, so locals. And I think we take about um, 1 million tourists or around that 1.5 max uh, million. Uh, the Mauritius airport could handle 4 million tourists per year. Uh, it's a very nice luxurious compared to the 1 million that we have. This is way good, too, too good to be um, an airport. Uh, yeah, I don't even know what I said, but yeah, it's a very good. You look at all these color contracts um, of the, the market. And uh, so you can see uh, all the Indian stuff you could buy, different colors of, uh, uh, I don't know what you call them, like different fruits. And um, these are not even expensive. Uh, so you could uh, just uh, look at the prices. That's, uh, I don't know, 10 rupees, 10 rupees. and. You can buy bras over there. Uh, yeah, so that's about the market. Uh, it's usually more beautiful if you go that side, but it's something uh, if you're in Maiburg, come take a visit. So this is where the store that you buy roti. This guy is a very expensive guy. He rips you off all the time. And uh, uh, yeah, this one is a very nice one. Uh, Grow Maraz. Uh, you can get um, rotis or Indian kind of food for uh, about uh, 30 cents per one, 12 rupees. I don't know in the future they might raise the price, which I think is totally worth it. Uh, but yeah, so that's my book so far. And this is where I come every day almost. Not every day, uh, I lied, but I come um, a couple or three times a week, sometimes in a week I count five to six times as well and I sit down by the water and just like look at the view you have like uh, people fishing and uh, it's just so laid back I sit exactly here so let me just sit down and show you the view so yeah you can just sit down and you can see people fishing and the waves are so pretty and yeah this is my book and this is a wrap for video uh, like the video subscribe to the channel and visit the website if I created it by by the time you watch this video so yeah my book